I'm Angela. I'm Leah. And, and we, we out here. here. Hey y'all, we are at Black Rodeo USA, specifically in Jacksonville, Florida. Now this rodeo does travel throughout the United States, mostly in the U.S. South, so it could be coming or maybe it came to a city near you. For us, the ticket prices were between $20 and $40. We paid the extra $20 for the seats with the um, divider, so those red seats that you're looking at now. The $20 seats are the bleacher seats. When you pay $40, you get this wristband to sit in those seats. So when the first rodeo first begins, they have um, local politicians, uh, the local sheriff, uh, driving around, waving at the crowd. They also have multiple flags. They do sing the Black National Anthem as well as the American National Anthem. Uh, so you see the Juneteenth flag here. This is when everybody is singing, lift every voice and sing. Uh, then they also came through with the Juneteenth flag, which is what you saw earlier in the video. And now they have a procession of flags with the participants. So one thing I learned is that the rodeo is actually a competition. <laughs> I did not know that coming here. Uh, so all of these people are, well, most of these people here are part of the competition. They are coming around kind of in a parade type processional. And this is all gender. So women, men, as well as children, which I thought was really cool. There is going to be this kid that you'll see on like a small horse pony type animal. And it is just so, so cute. They also have a group of teenage girls who ride together, which I think is very empowering for young girls to see. Overall, it was a lot of fun. Uh, the short answer is if you plan on going, I say go for it. If you have been already, let us know what you think. Did you have fun? Uh, what city did you go to? And how often do you go? So this was our first time going, but the people that we were seated, seated next to she told us that she goes every year. I don't know if that just meant in Jacksonville or if that means in different in different cities, um, but she enjoys herself. It is like a party, like lots of music, lots of activities, laughter, fun, and it is good for the whole family. Well, I'll tell you what, these guys have a tough task. As you see, the camera right there. Some of them are going to raise from the workout. Now, just as a warning, some of the rodeo is like this where, you know, no animals are being, there's no physical interaction with the animals. But then there are other times when some of the animals are tackled. So if you do bring children, it is up to your discretion if you want them to watch everything. Oh, oh. So again, this was my first time attending a rodeo. So the tackling of the animals was new to me. Uh, it was certainly a culture shock. At one point, I was rooting for the animals because I didn't want them to get tackled. This rodeo was held in the Jacksonville Equestrian Center. Now, while it is enclosed, there is no air conditioning. So it does get hot in here. So you want to be able to wear appropriate clothing when you come. So as you can see, people in the audience are fanning themselves. There are fans uh, on the ceiling, but as you can see, they are not really spinning. So what do you feel? 
This guy was really funny throughout the entire rodeo. He ate it with the cowboys and he did audience participation. about the rodeo is that it is first time friendly so they do explain everything that is going on over the uh, loudspeaker but the con is that you can never really make out what the speaker is saying <laughs> the audio was horrible here but um, I did look up some terms as I was there so I was able to get a grasp on what was going on and essentially there are tying down the the calves right now so they are competing to see who can lasso the cow and tie it down the quickest so after he like notifies the judges that he's complete the people come and help untie him but before un they untie him they record the time the amount of time that was used to tackle and tie up the calf so the person with the quickest amount of time, I don't remember if it was this guy in the pink or not, but he did complete pretty quickly. Um, that person is the winner. So at this rodeo, all of the people who competed in this section were men. The women mostly competed in like the barrel um, obstacle course type thing. Um, this was mostly guys who did this. Now in the downtime, they do have like, audience participation type activities, lots of sing-alongs and things of that nature. I'm kind of going to give a, a spin around so you can see the crowd to see how popular this is. Now, they did have two uh, shows at this location. The first one was at 1 p.m., which is the one that we chose. And then the second one was at 7 p.m. Both of the prices were the same. I imagine that the 7 p.m. was just as crowded. I cannot confirm because I did not attend that one. Um, but this seems to be pretty popular with the people of Jacksonville. So the people like it. Um, I think you would have a good time if you do decide to go. This was my favorite part of the show. Now, this is when the women would go around these barrels in clover leaf form. And the person who completed the barrels in the quickest amount of time was the winner. Now this is sped up for time, so the speed that you see them moving at, it is faster than what it was in person. Most of these girls were teenagers, so I thought that was really cool. Um, once they did it individually, there was a second round of teams. So during the team one, that was actually my favorite favorite. <laughs> and there was one girl, who, or woman rather, who was on a white horse, and she did not come to play. <laughs> she was really, really good. If you would like to purchase tickets, you can do it on their website at blackrodeousa.com. You also have the option of purchasing it in person, but I would strongly suggest just purchasing it online. Then the tickets are emailed to you and then you can just scan and go inside rather than having to wait in line to purchase tickets. I don't know if this is true or not, but when I was listening to other people standing in the line, they said the tickets were sold out. So if you go there without pre-purchasing your tickets, you do run the risk of not being able to actually attend. Interestingly enough, there were a lot of women and children who attended this rodeo, especially in our section. You can kind of see some of the women as I turn the camera. Um, I assumed before we got there that mo mostly men would be there, but when I got there, I understood why the women were there. The women cheer very, very loudly for the handsome cowboys, especially when they win, right? Um, they try to get their attention. They're cheering for them. Uh, it's kind of a social event. Don't forget to like this video, y'all, and subscribe to our channel if you have not already. We bring y'all consistent, consistent content. Every single Friday, you get a video and you get three reels 
or story shorts from us every single week. So when you subscribe, you get good content from us. And we do respond in the comments. So if you have something you want to ask us or you have videos that you would like to see, let us know. Also, comment below and let us know, have you been to the Black Rodeo USA or have you been to any rodeo? Uh, if so, which city were, was it in and how did you enjoy it? Did you like it? Would you recommend it? Would you suggest against it? So this section of the rodeo is the bull riding. This is most exciting for most people, but it was kind of my least favorite, mostly because I felt bad for the cows. So basically what happens are is the cowboys mount the cows. A rope is tied like near their stomach and hind legs, and then the rope is pulled. So it makes them kind of do that kicking motion so that they the the goal is for the the cowboy to stay on the bull the longest. And then the person who stays on the longest is the person who wins this part of the rodeo. Um, the crowd seem to enjoy this part. It is kind of exciting. So I do get that. Uh, it's just, again, I feel bad for the cows, but we hope that you enjoyed this video. We hope that you're able to get some information from it. And if you do go to the rodeo, come back and let us know what you thought. Did you enjoy it? Hey y'all, we are headed out from the rodeo, our first rodeo. Yeah. Um, we are in Tallahassee. Now we're going to find, no, Jacksonville. She we're in Jacksonville. Even, she wasn't even going to correct me. <laughs> it's hot. Okay, it's time and to And I go. can't see. We're facing the sun. Oh. And I ain't got no glasses on. So oh, I was okay. trying to I was trying to make sure I'm headed in the right direction. That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> um we're gonna go find something to eat. We don't know where yet. It's been sweet. Check us out next week. When we out here in, in these streets. streets. Peace. Peace.